Today was a big day for college football. Nick Saban retired. He's no longer coaching for Alabama. And that created a trickle-down effect as Ryan Williams decommitted from Alabama. Five-star wide receiver. Now we got to figure out where he's going to go. Looking at the tea leaves here, it could be Auburn. We're going to look at his 24-7 sports player profile page. We're going to look at his highlights. We're going to take a deeper look at Ryan Williams and his situation. But before we do, you need to click that subscribe button. Tap with the finger on your phone. Click it on the mouse on your computer because we're going hot and heavy on this 2024 recruiting class all offseason long. And you need to know what these freshmen are looking like as they're signing with your team, as they start playing for your team this year, next year, the year after. You need to know something about them. Click that button. Stop missing out. But let's look at his 24-7 sports player profile page. They got the crystal ball lit up to Auburn. Very interesting here. Decommitted from Alabama just a little bit ago today. This is hot off the press. He's rated as the wide receiver three in the rankings and wide receiver four in the composite. Six foot 165. He's a little younger though, so he's got time to add some size to his frame. Looking at the offers here, 26, but all big time schools at the top. Alabama, Auburn, Texas, Arkansas. We went over this about a month or so ago, but still, we need to keep looking at him because he's on the move right now. We're going to see him with another team. He's got him comp to Calvin Ridley. They got him as an electric playmaker with excellent top end speed and can make you miss. He's very elusive, requisite height and length. He's got a narrow frame, but you know what? He's got time to thicken up. Dynamic receiver outside and in the slot. He's fast, sub 10-5-100. That's what you need to know. We also got a good high jump here, so he's going to have some burst and pop off the step. You're going to see that in the highlights if you haven't seen it already. Also plays basketball, multi-sport athletes. We got him with a 10-4-9-100 meter. He can cook. He is fast. That's what you need to see out of him. But really, we want to look at the timeline here to see if we got any clues. So the crystal ball says Auburn. His last visit with Auburn was in December. He decommitted from Alabama today. And in January, he's got another visit with Alabama. Then Texas, he's got a visit with them on January 27th. Auburn again on the 3rd. So we got some visits coming up. But he was heavy with Auburn in October and November with visits. Something to pay attention to. September, he had another visit with Auburn. So there's a good chance he goes to Auburn here. They got the Crystal Paul there with Auburn. Maybe a source leaked that to them. Maybe. They don't officially know. He could be going somewhere else. Or also from the Alabama area. That's something to pay attention to. Going over the on three here. And I don't think they got everything updated. They got him at an 86.7% chance of going to Alabama. Give this a day or so for looking at this. See if this gets updated. See if they update the changes here. Because that might have changed. He has decommitted from Alabama though. But the rankings here, one of the top wide receivers in the class. Wide receiver four in the rankings up here. But they also got him as the wide receiver three. Wide receiver three for 24-7, ESPN, and the wide receiver four for rivals. And he is a complete five-star on all the recruiting sites. That being said, where is he going to go? Where do you think he's going to go? Looks like it could be Auburn. And looks like there's a good chance for that. But... He's on the move. It could be anywhere. It could be Texas. It could be anywhere because he is a hot prospect right now. Five-star athlete. Let's take a look at the highlights real quick. We saw this before. We looked at these highlights a little bit ago, but we're going to do it again just in case you missed that video so you can see what Williams has on the field. And you're going to see the speed. You're going to see a dynamic playmaker here. Very explosive. Once he sees green, he's gone. Because he's going to get that opportunity to see green, and he's just going to jet it upfield. Here's him again. They're slowing things down here. 
Bam. Catches the ball. Now we're getting upfield. Nice head movement. Now we're working back out. Now we're working back in and back out. And look at him go with the foot race. Speed four days. You can tell he's a track guy with how he finished that off. They're giving him some cushion. Inside shade here. We're going to blow right past him. Watch that. You see the feet there? So sweet, too. Smooth. Smooth and quick. Electric footwork. Bam. Catches the ball. Instantly getting upfield. And we're gone. And we're gone. Watch him pull away. They got him compared to Calvin Ridley, but Calvin Ridley doesn't have jets like this. That's the thing. It makes it hard to make that comparison. You can make it with the hands and stuff, I guess. But once you start moving like this, sub 10.5 speed, it's really hard to make a comp to that. It might be because he was signed with Alabama and they just made a lazy comp. No knock against any of them, either player. It's just totally different players. But look at that speed. He's very electric. He's a highlight reel waiting to happen. Let's see how he catches the ball behind him, in front of him with his hands. Brings it in. It just immediately gets upfield. Again, if he's running crossers and there's green in front of him, there's a chance he's going to house it. At least eat up a big chunk of yards. What's going on here? Is he on defense? No, it's a punt return. We know he's housing it on this play. Just weaving in and out of defenses and special teams, I guess. But still, he's nasty. His highlights are highlights. He's even more impressive now. Look at the ball skills on that one. He's even more impressive now, now that I've watched more wide receivers from this class and now went back to him. Because his highlights are just more dynamic compared to a lot of other wide receivers in this class. I get he's rated as a five-star, and it should be since he's rated higher than that. But again, look at the burst there and speed. Like a great combination there. Just so electric. He's just hard to cover. You give him any space, he's going to eat it. And he could be going anywhere. I'm just trying to read the tea leaves from the recruiting sites. It's not like I have any intel. And they have intel, but not all of it. They don't know what's on his mind, really. And he's probably going to shop around a little bit. Look at him go. Look at him eat up yards. We want to see some. You can't run with him. He tried to run with him. In man coverage. And it's one of the fastest players in the nation here. And you're trying to run with him? What are you doing? That's an impossible thing to do. I want to talk to your coach for scheming that. No safety up top. He's nasty. He's so dynamic. He's so dominant that his highlights are kind of boring. Like It's just him, just Bo Jackson, Tecmo Bowl style with every run. He just plants a dude here on that one. Gets off the ball. We're going to get another block. Plants another dude. He's assertive. He's assertive. He also has a my ball mentality. If you saw that one in the end zone where he rised up, caught that big ball. Now we're upfield. You just give him just a little bit of space. You miss one tackle on him, it's going to kill you. We got to watch the recruiting trails on him too. This was big news. Blew up Twitter. Catching the ball in the back of the end zone there. He's got space to build up speed there. He's going to eat that cushion and just take it. Okay. Bam. Spins out and gets it. He's gone. You miss a tackle, he's going to make you pay. He's going to make you pay big time. I don't really care what level it is. High school or college. If you miss a tackle on this guy, he's going to make you pay. There are not many wide receivers that's this explosive and this fast at the college game. Wait till he develops... And starts getting snaps and targets. He's going to be a big... Look at him. Look at the explosiveness off the line. You're not going to keep up with him. This is the same play. So he has two sets of highlights midseason and full season. 
So I had to put them together to get as big a sample of highlights as possible to look at. So some of these are going to be doubles. We're on to maybe the midseason highlights in the back. I've put the midseason in the back. So some of these could be doubles. But that's all right. But at least he put together highlights. Some of these guys, I got to go through their games and do it for them. And then post it on here. I've had to do it for a couple prospects. Some of them will come out next week. But look at the explosiveness here. He's nasty after the catch. He's going to drive up a lot of yards after the catch. That's one thing. That's one thing. He could go to Auburn. He could be going anywhere, though. He's also got a visit with Texas. You got to be Bayesian with a player like this. But where do you think he's going to go? Where do you think Ryan Williams is going to head here because he's on the move? There's a chance he could go back to Alabama. I doubt it. I doubt it. Usually you don't decommit here on January 10th right now because Nick Saban's left. That That's the factor here. Nick Saban's gone. You recruited there. You wanted to play under there. He's gone. There's other options in college football for you to go to. You're a high-end prospect. You gotta make the right decision. This is one of the biggest decisions of your life. You gotta make it right. It makes sense. You got a ton of upside. More than enough speed. You got gusto speed. And I'll say that much. But Ryan Williams, where do you think he's gonna go? A hell of a playmaker, hell of a wide receiver, dripping with speed. This guy is nasty after the catch and has ball skills. He has everything. He's going to make wherever he goes better. That's for sure. He's going to have a lot of upside and he's going to help that team. Where do you think he's going? Let me know in the comments below. Looks like from the visits, since he's been visiting Auburn a lot, there's a good chance for that. But that doesn't mean anything because he could just change his mind from that also. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I want to hear about it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. And one thing for watching, catch you on the next video.